Uh, <clears throat> so, has anyone else ever like used one of these, right? Basically they're called a butterfly knife and for whatever reason, I absolutely love these. They're so much fun to play with and just like horse around with. Fun. And like, I know some tricks with it. I don't know, something about this just like really makes me like enjoy it. I think it's just because it's like a dangerous thing that I'm just like flipping, <clears throat> flipping around uh, that could cause an accident. Welcome back to a three minute Wednesday. Today we're gonna be going over how to add nostalgia to your shots in really simple and clever ways. Let's get straight into it. A really great and easy way to be able to get nostalgic video is actually by taking your phone and then putting it right up to where your eye viewer is. And then you basically start just like moving your lens around and kind of getting this like really cool effect when you're looking at your video. And just making a really cool, tra easy transition to go from between like normal footage and then like nostalgic footage. Now with like all out of camera, nostalgic tricks out of the way. Let's get straight into the computer and show you some really cool ways to be able to edit your video to look more nostalgic. One of the first things and easiest things you can do is actually add film grain, which is basically the sort of like rough, really rough texture that you can add that essentially makes your footage look old. So now, once we have our film grain, all we have to do is essentially just drag it straight into our project and then we put it right on top of the footage that we're wanting to use it with. So then we go to our actual film grain. We change the blend mode to screen. And then we go to opacity and we bring it down. And now when we play this back, you can see that it adds some texture to it. Makes it feel a little bit more nostalgic. Now we can add to this by adding different effects such as, you know, black bars. So by going into our actual project and adding an adjustment layer, by going into our effects and typing in crop, dragging it right into our adjustment layer and then putting something like 15, 15. It adds quite a nostalgic feel to our clip because when you turn it off, you can kind of tell that it's very crisp, very sharp. But when you add it, it adds, it softens the image quite a bit. And even further this, we can even include more to this. We can actually adjust the crop that we have on our footage to make it seem different. So if we remove these parameters and we start going 20, 20, now we get an aspect ratio that seems a lot older. And on top of that, you can even add more to this by changing up and adding. So by adding a different type of film grain, we actually have a different type of effect altogether, right? Whereas this effect seems a lot more like old timey footage. And when you start combining effects, you get this really strong and powerful thing that you can actually choose to decide how much your footage actually affects it. So if we add 20% to this, get the light in. Right now we have something that looks very old and like very rustic from like way back when. So now let's pre-render this because my computer can't handle this and see how this looks. And this is only some of the ways that you can actually cover and how to make footage look very old, right? Or look very nostalgic for different projects you're working on. So that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below in the comments what I could add to these videos to make it better for you guys to watch. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Wait, just before I forget, new videos coming out, uh, hopefully this Saturday. Gonna have to depend on like when I get this edited, uh, all this edited together because this is actually a busy weekend for me with work. But I'm gonna try my hardest to get the video out by Saturday. And since you guys are gonna be watching this on Wednesday and I got it right this time, I'm gonna try my best to get it out to you guys as soon as possible. So yep, just as last, I said, this is gonna do it for today's video. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.